Now we are going to discuss what we call the ratio test for deciding about a series, whether the series is convergent or divergent. Ratio test you have already discussed in your calculus courses, but in real analysis courses, you will see that the ratio test is more generalized in the sense that we have the limit superior and limit inferior rather than the limits of the sequence a n over b n. So, calculus mein jo aapne discuss kiya tha ratio test, usme se the ratio test which we are going to discuss now is more generalized than the calculus test. Lekin of course, I am going to show you that from that result, we can have the same result which you have already discussed during your courses of calculus. So, we are going to discuss the ratio test, the formal statement. I will give you the formal statement of that test and then I am going to prove that test. In proving that test, I am going to use a very important theorem which we have recently discussed which states that a, a series AN is convergent if or ye series jo hai, ye positive terms ki hai, non-negative terms ki hai or ek or series hai, BN which is series of positive terms then humne ye proof kiya tha ke series agar BN jo hai, wo convergent hai then the series AN will be convergent if the limit superior of the sequence AN over BN is finite. Ye kiya tha. Then we have proved that if the series AN is divergent and limit superior jo hai, limit superior agar finite hai or limit inferior agar positive hai, then there was a relationship between the divergence of the two series summation a n and summation b n which we have proved in our uh, already previous discussion mein humne isko proof kiya tha is result ko jo hai ratio test ko proof karte hue main use karunga let's see what is the statement of ratio test and how we are going to prove that test so suppose that we have a series with non negative terms a n and another series which is which consists of positive terms and furthermore, we have this relationship which states that a n plus 1, n plus 1th term ratio jo hai uski, nth term ke saath is always less than or equal to nth term of the series which consists of b n and ratio to the b n nth term. It is this relation holds. Then the first thing is if b n series, this series is convergent. You know that this, what does it mean? It means that the series is convergent. If I, whenever I write summation b n is less than infinity, it means the series is convergent. And if b n, this series is convergent, then we can conclude that summation a n is convergent. Series is convergent. If a n diverge karti hai, to b n jo hai, ye bhi diverge karegi. Smaller series, jo a n hai, wo agar diverge karegi and it is divergent to infinity then summation b n this series will always diverge and it is divergent to infinity let's see how we are going to prove this one in fact from this relationship i can write it that down a n plus 1 over b n plus 1 less than or equals to a n over b n which is the cross multiplication i did the cross multiplication now what you can say about this sequence a n over b n is ki n plus 1th term jo ke ye likhi hui hai, it is less than or equal to n term it means that this sequence is non-increasing so we can write this one from this expression which I already explained you we see that the sequence a n over b n is non-increasing if it is non-increasing then the limit superior of that sequence, limit superior whenever n approaches to infinity of a n over b n, that will be a finite number. Therefore, limit superior when n approaches to infinity of that sequence a n over b n is a finite number and by applying the result which I just recalled, we can show that the series if b n is convergent then summation a n is convergent jo theorem maine abhi aapko recall karwaya tha usko apply karenge hum aur usse hamara first part jo hai it is proved now let's go to the second part second part says that if 
an is divergent to infinity then summation bn is divergent suppose that summation an is divergent since an over bn is non increasing there is ye an over bn humne abhi argument diya tha it is non increasing there is a number rho there must be a number rho such that bn is greater than or equal to rho an in fact what does it mean agar suppose on contrary if this is there does not exist any number rho then the sequence an over bn will be no more non increasing so we must have that number rho such that bn is greater than or equals to rho an ab agar summation an jo hai ye divergent hai and it is divergent to infinity then rho is just a real number humne ye theorem prove kiya hua hai result state kiya hua hai ki summation rho any real number an jo is series ka bhi wohi behavior hoga jo ke आपकी इस ए एन वाली सीरीज का बिहेवियर होगा सो दैट सीरीज विल ऑलवेज डाइवर्जेंट एंड डाइवर्जेस टू इंफिनिटी सो सिंस सुमेशन रो ए एन इज डाइवर्जेंट टू इंफिनिटी इसका आर्गुमेंट मैंने दे दिया इफ सुमेशन ए एन इज डाइवर्जेंट विद ए एन रिप्लेस्ड बाय रो ए एन इम्प्लाइज दैट सुमेशन बी एन इज डाइवर्जेंट अब सुमेशन बी एन ये किस तरह हम कंक्लूड कर रहे हैं बिकॉज ऑफ दिस रिलेशनशिप बी एन इज ग्रेटर देन स्मॉलर सीरीज जो है वो अगर डाइवर्ज कर रही है तो लार्जर सीरीज जो है वो भी ऑफ कोर्स डाइवर्ज करेगी दिस इज हाउ यू आर गोइंग टू प्रूव द रेशो टेस्ट एंड यू हैव ऑब्जर्व दैट इन प्रूविंग द रेशो टेस्ट आई हैव यूज द प्रीवियस रिजल्ट विच आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड ड्यूरिंग माई डिस्कशन अबाउट द डाइवर्जेंस और कन्वर्जेंस ऑफ द सीरीज वी विल यूज सेवरल डिफरेंट फेजेज यू कैन से दैट फेजेज और डिफरेंट शेप ऑफ दैट रेशो टेस्ट जो कि मैंने आपको ऑलरेडी कहा है कि ये रेशो टेस्ट जो हमने एनालिसिस वन में डिस्कस किया है कैलकुलस में आपने ये रेशो टेस्ट नहीं डिस्कस किया हुआ इट इज मोर जनरलाइज मैं ये शो करूंगा कि दिस रिजल्ट इन फैक्ट इज मोर जनरलाइज बाई प्रूविंग दैट जो आपने ऑलरेडी कैलकुलस के कोर्सेज में रेशो टेस्ट डिस्कस किया हुआ है वो इसी से डिड्यूज करूंगा 